Alright, Steven here with scubasteveaquatics.com. Today we are going to be resealing an aquarium. We're going to take all the silicone out, redo all the seals in it. I uh, bought this 90 gallon off Craigslist yesterday for 50 bucks. Heck of a deal. Um, now I haven't water tested it and I'm not going to. Uh, looking at the silicone right here, it's missing a bunch of chunks out of the silicone and stuff. And uh, the tag in the bottom of the aquarium, it's an all glass aquarium. Uh, the date manufactured was 1994, so it's 18 years old. So um, I'm, I'm not even going to deal with it. I'm just going to re reseal it, re caulk it, and uh, that way I know it's done right, and hopefully it'll last about another 18 years. Now, the supply list we need, pretty simple. Uh, this is everything we need right here. We've got rubbing alcohol and some paper towels uh, and this is to clean the glass once we take all the caulk out of it uh, I don't like using cleaner products this uh, alcohol evaps really fast plus it'll disinfect and clean the glass where we're about to put the new silicone I have a razor blade scraper uh, three bucks at the hardware store pretty cheap silicone now the biggest thing here uh, if you go to a pet store and buy aquarium silicone you're gonna pay a lot of money. Uh, last time I looked, it was like uh, nine, 10, maybe 11 bucks for a little tiny tube. Not even a fourth uh, of what this amount is. Um, silicone one. Silicone one is what you're gonna be looking for. It's pure silicone. Uh, nowadays, they make silicone with fungicide in it. Uh, and maybe you, you've noticed in your bathtub or your bathroom, the silicone around the sink or in the shower has mildew or mold on it and the silicone now has that fungicide in it so it's mildew and mold resistant so you want this silicone one pure silicone uh, you're gonna need a silicone gun or a caulking gun and maybe some rubber gloves if you don't want to get your hands all messy with the silicone oh and one more thing I don't have it with me I'll grab it in a second some masking tape or some blue painters tape uh, so now that we've gone over the supply list uh, I'm going to get busy scraping all this silicone out and I'll show you step for step how we're going to do this. Alright, got the uh, masking tape, adding it to my supply list. And uh, I like to use a putty knife too, so when we're going to tape the inside of the aquariums for the silicone, you can use the putty knife like this and get a nice straight line on there. Alright, so masking tape, putty knife, silicone, alcohol, uh, caulking gun, rubber gloves and our razor blade pretty simple supply list so we're gonna get started uh, doing this aquarium so what you're gonna want to do is um, take your razor blade I already started up here at the top you're gonna push down on the silicone on one side and then push down on the silicone on the other side you might have to do it two or three times to get all the way to the glass And then you can start peeling the silicone out. I'm just going to drop it all in the tank. We'll clean it all out later. And now, once you get the silicone out, you want to take your razor blade and scrape this glass clean. You'll get all these little fine silicone particles off of here. And it's very important to scrape this glass perfectly clean of all these little pieces. Now this is a big tank, it's gonna take me a while. See all those little pieces coming off? All right, so I'm gonna get a majority of the caulk out, or the silicone. I'm gonna go through, clean all this little bit off the glass. And we'll come back shortly to uh, see what it looks like. Now, a majority of this big stuff, just get it into a pile, scoop it out with your hands. But the easiest way to get all this little stuff, it's just a simple vacuum. Uh, vacuum all this little stuff up. So we still got some uh, detail scraping to do to get this glass 
uh, perfectly clean. I just wanted to show you this little tip on getting this stuff out of here. All right, we scraped the glass down pretty good, going over it two different times. Now we're just going to wipe the whole inside, all the seams, try to get every little last piece of silicone out of here. Uh, we're going to wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol. We might even go over scraping the uh, corners one more time with the razor blades, but pretty much this is just uh, the final cleanup before we're going to put tape tape on the uh, seams so we can start re-siliconing it. But this rubbing alcohol gets all these little pieces of silicone unstuck off the glass and it evaporates real quick. I don't like using cleaning products on the inside of aquariums. So we're going to take a while to do this, get all these little pieces of silicone out of here. We might even uh, scrape the glass one more time just to make sure it's ready to go. All right, now that we have uh, all the glass cleaned off, silicone free, scraped down, we went over it three different times, uh, wiped it down with rubbing alcohol. We have applied masking tape to make a boxed kind of picture frame for our silicone seals. So now the silicone, we're gonna spread it in the glass right here, smear it, but this, uh, tape will give you a nice true edge so you don't have to worry about messing it up so I've left one corner undone right here I'm gonna show you how we do it real quick all right so you gotta take your tape now I've I've went a little bit wider than factory the factory seal uh, just because this isn't a show tank it's just a grow out tank so I don't care about the little bit wider seam, but it guarantees that I'll be leak proof, uh, giving me that extra little bit of wideness than the factory seam. So then you're gonna take your putty knife, go up here and just rip it straight cut. There we go again. I've given myself about a quarter inch on every on every seam. There we go. Now we're ready for silicone. All right, I've cut this uh, tip off to give me a pretty thick beam of the silicone. Uh, we're going to go pretty generous. We'll take all. We'll take the extra off when we spread it out. But right now, I'm just going to go around the whole aquarium with the beam of silicone. So I'm just going to go around the whole aquarium like that, and we'll come back. So now that we have the silicone beaded all around the aquarium, uh, we're going to take our finger, make sure to jam it down in the corners, and this is where you can use the latex gloves if you want to. I just use my finger, and we're going to spread it out, and like I said with the ex excess, just wipe it off. Now, this is a pretty strong smell. You're going to want to be in a ventilated area. But with that tape edge, you don't have to worry about being too clean. But we're just going to keep going until it's nice and smooth like, like that in every corner. So we're going to do this around the whole aquarium. And we'll come back to you. So now that we have all the silicone smeared off, smeared around, packed into the corners, I got it nice and smooth. Here's a shot of the outside. Nice smooth lines. 
made it real pretty. Uh, you want to do this while it's still wet. You can't wait until it dries. So you want to very carefully peel the tape away. That's how we're going to get our nice smooth finish line on the silicone. There we go. All right. Now this is the finished product. Look how pretty this line is, how straight. Remember how chunky and it was missing chunks out of it and stuff before we started. Now it's a nice straight line. Piece of silicone on the glass right here and some silicone on the glass right here. Uh, don't worry about that. Do not wipe it up with a paper towel. You'll smear the silicone on the glass. Just let it dry. Uh, and in a day or two, when it's all dry, we'll just take a razor blade and come and scrape it right off the glass. It'll come right off. Just don't smear it on with a paper towel or anything. So don't worry about if you uh, flung silicone. I got some on the bottom of the aquarium right here, too. So, um, but that's the finished product, guys. Uh, we'll wait 48 hours until uh, it dries, and we'll water test it. But I guarantee it's going to hold water. I've resealed a couple aquariums now. And I've never had one leak on me. Uh, knock on, not wood, knock on an aquarium. <laughs> but check back uh, for future videos, guys. I'll keep posting DIY projects like this. Thanks for watching.